Editing is the process of arranging the shots of a film. It is generally considered the most important and powerful element of filmmaking. Editing gives a film its sense and continuity so that it can tell its story clearly. Good editing keeps the film interesting. In this film, you will be shown how the editor arranges shots into a finished film. The basic equipment of the film editor includes a viewer and a pair of rewinds. The viewer is good for seeing the composition and action of a shot, but because it is hard to move the film constantly at the correct speed, it is difficult to evaluate the rhythm and pace of the film. For this purpose, the film should be run on a projector, unless you have access to a professional motor-driven editing machine which will run at constant speed. Splicing is the basic mechanical task of film editing. Since splices must be strong and accurate, a good splicer and skill in its use are very important to the film editor. The film synchronizer has two basic purposes. It has a footage counter for measuring, and the front sprocket wheel is marked to show the 40 frames in each foot of 16 millimeter film. One revolution of the synchronizer spindle equals one foot of film or 40 16 millimeter frames. The synchronizer is also used to move two or more pieces of film and or soundtrack together frame by frame. Editing is usually done with a work print, an inexpensive print made from the original film which was shot in the camera. A work print is used to prevent damage to the original film by scratches, finger marks, or other accidents. The editor can also experiment with cutting and recutting the film without losing frames or having unnecessary splices in the original. Only after the final editing of the work print does the editor work with the original camera footage, conforming or matching it to the edited work print. Most often in working with 16 millimeter film, the original picture is edited into two rolls called A and B. Individual shots in a sequence are alternated between the two rolls and are separated from each other by black leader. When prints or negatives are then made from these A and B rolls, the splices will be invisible. Using A and B rolls also allows editing special effects such as superimpositions and dissolves. Editing effects can be grouped into four major categories, spatial, temporal, point of view, and transitions. The first of these groups, spatial effects, has to do with the composition and movement of the objects in a shot. When two shots are cut together, they must be appreciably different in distance from the subject or different in angle to the subject in order not to shock or confuse the viewer. A specific way to cut two shots together is the match cut. The match cut is almost always made on an action or movement that is identical in both shots. The objects in both shots are in identical positions when the cut is made. This gives the cut a flowing forward effect not found in a normal cut. Cross-cutting is the cutting back and forth between two main actions which are usually related. Each main action becomes, in effect, the cutaway for the other. 
Cross-cutting originated in the chases of the early silent movies and is an effective device for creating suspense. When cross-cutting, the action of all the shots in each sequence must move in the same direction to avoid confusion. The term cutaway refers to a shot that is not a part of, but is still related to, action. The editor will cut away from the main action to a related shot to cover a lapse in continuity, to contract the time an action really takes on screen, or to show a character's reaction to the main action. This kind of cutaway is sometimes called a reaction shot. Another kind of editing deals with the temporal effects which relate to pace or rhythm of the cutting. The pace of editing is determined by the length of the shots used. A series of longer shots will give a slower pace. A series of short shots will give a fast pace. The editing pace of a sequence can enhance its content. Thus, a chase scene would be cut to a fast pace. A peaceful scene to a slow pace. and all the gradations in between. Editing for point of view has to do with who is seeing what. The greater part of most films takes the omniscient point of view in which the audience views the action externally from a godlike perspective. To indicate that a shot or series of shots is the point of view of one of the characters in the film, the editor inserts before it a shot of the character looking off frame. The meaning of an entire sequence can be changed by rearranging the shots so that they appear to be seen from a character's point of view. So far, all of the effects we have discussed have been accomplished by cutting and splicing. Transitions, on the other hand, must either be made in the camera while shooting or must be done later by a film laboratory. In traditional filmmaking, the fade-in and fade out are roughly equivalent to the beginnings and ends of paragraphs. They show the definite beginning or end of a sequence of a film. The dissolve usually indicates a change of place or the passage of time. These are some of the basic editing effects. Now, let's see our movie. Thank you. 